Hi, hope you're all having a fabulous weekend this weekend. I'm coming to you from the living room today because I'm going to do a photo shoot, as promised. Now, unfortunately, I couldn't convince the missus to have her photo taken, and I want to do portraits, so unfortunately it's going to have to be my ugly mug in the photos. It is going to be a bit of a challenge because I'm going to be having to obviously take the photos themselves, mess around with the lights, and... I'm going to video it as well, obviously, for you guys. Um, so yeah, you'll just have to bear with me one second. Let me put you down on here. Um, yeah, hands free again. <laughs> so I figured today would be a good time to try out some of my old vintage lenses now that I've got my adapter for them. So the first one that I'm going to try is the uh, Pentax 1.7 50mm prime lens. Um, it's got manual aperture and manual focus, so it's going to be making life even more difficult for myself, but I don't know if you can see that. The aperture goes really wide. Can you see? Yeah. Ish. <laughs> if all else fails, though, I can revert to my normal lens, which will focus for me, um, which might be slightly easier, but we'll see. But without further ado, I do need to get this room quite messy. Let's move you back. <coughs> Okay, so we're all set up as far as the backdrop is concerned. I've got my flash on a stand just behind me here, which is going to be in front of me. And then just behind out of view down here, I've got a uh, another little flash um, to separate me from the background. And this is where this shoot gets a little bit more interesting, uh, creativity-wise, and whether or not I'll actually be able to pull it off. But I've got here a little decorative glass bowl, a tabletop bowl with a pattern on it. The idea behind this is to shoot the flash through it and get some different refractions of the light onto my face, the subject. And to that end, another thing that I've seen a few people try on YouTube with varying degrees of success, some of them got some really good shots out of it, was a cheese grater. <laughs> yep, bog standard cheese grater. The idea behind this is that you flash into it and obviously the light patterns that come out of it are based on what we've got. So I've got a slicer on one side, a quite thick cheese grating on the other side, and then like parmesan or zesting. Um, yeah, it'll give some different patterns and we'll see how that goes. But without further ado, I'd best get some lenses and start taking my photos. So, three or four hours later, and I think I might have managed to get one or two decent shots. I don't know, I've not actually seen them yet. Um, I need to get them onto my computer, get edited and video uploaded. It's now nearly six o'clock, so I need to get a rush on. Anyway, this is the end of a very long day of shooting, so I'm going to grab myself a beer. I hope you guys are doing well, and I will catch you tomorrow. 